All right, Tammy, what's your story? My story is I was a trial attorney back in the day, so okay. many, many, yeah. many, many years ago, University of Texas School of Law grad, by the way, the Gamorans. So a few years ago, decided I uh, had my real estate license a few years just for myself. But when Wes and I, my husband uh, and I got married, I said, you know what, we need to start a real estate company. So that's what we did, uh, and I love it. And so four years ago, so I decided to run some numbers for fun. So I said year to date, meaning January 1st through September 11th of each year. So if you go back four years to 2016, uh, 2015, I'm sorry, we had zero production because we didn't exist. That's how new our company is, okay? And we've built a team since then. So in the next year, our production and volume was $10 million. And we started with coaching from day one. Mm -hmm. Important fact. Very cool. So from zero to 10 million, that's a partial year again. Then the following year, which was last year, was 30 million in production. And right now, year to date, we are at 60 million in production on the scale to do uh, 80 million in production with 2.2 GCI for our entire team. 2.2 million and 1.1 of that is our personal not GCI. Too, not too bad, Jamie. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> All right, so now that we all know who we're talking to, are you ready for me to dig into their marketing strategies? Yes or no? Can I get hands in the air? Yes? Should I do that? All right, great. So, Tammy, you're holding the mic. Uh, first question, just an easy, fast answer. Let's go down the line just so people can and take notes. Like, this is Tammy, Sarah, Jason. Find a spot in the notes. Put three columns. Tammy, Sarah, Jason. In your notes. All right, first question. What's your number one lead source? Facebook. What's number two? Everything else that comes from Facebook. <laughs> All right, Facebook. All right, Tammy. 30,000 foot view, ready, is that, go. Be the digital mayor of your town. Got it, let's go. Thanks, give it up, Tammy. Give it up. Right. Yeah, leverage whatever you've got, whatever your story is, and we've all got a story. Yours may not be mine, it may be completely dissimilar, but there's someone out there that's going to relate to you and what your story is. Maybe you are involved in a weight loss journey, a get healthy journey. There are so many things that you can do. Um, I've always thought, you know, if you're a lousy cook, wouldn't it be fun to do a series on, I'm going to do 30 days in a row, live videos to see if I can cook a meal. And not, and, you know, and come up with recipes. And ask people, say, give me your easiest no-fail recipe that even I can't bring. Share it with me. Send it on and I'm going to try to cook it and we'll see how it works. I think that would be a fantastic idea. I think that would be fantastic. Yeah, I mean, Gordon, I can't grow anything. Do a series and say, for 30 days I'm going to try to see if I can get this ceiling to grow. You could be hilarious with it. You can be your own person. You know, when it comes to pets, obviously, I know a few of you in this room here, and uh, if you haven't followed my Princess Cocoa Beans you, on Instagram, you definitely should check out our cat, Princess Cocoa Beans. She has 33,000 followers on Instagram lately. She's still tight. She's just a kitten. She's got a long way to go. And 80,000 on Facebook already. So uh, we get a lot of leverage out of Princess Coco. And since we call her Beans, we have to get her little baby brother named Frank. So they're Frank and Beans. <laughs> And they're fluffy white Persians and they're gorgeous and they're a lot of fun. So, but beyond that, you know, give people variety. Find something you can lean into. I also do a video series that has been very, very successful for me. And one thing I thought about is I would make videos occasionally. I was like, man, that was really good. That was really raw. It was really emotional. That was so great. And I would turn around and 30 days had gone by. And I was like, have I really not sat? Because I'm busy with real estate, right? So here's what I did. I said, I don't have any more time. I have no more hours in the day. So what I did is I said, every day I drive to work. So I'm gonna get me a thing, I'm gonna pop it in there. And Princess Coco, by the way, drives to work with me every day, right in my lap. She just always did since the day we got her. So every day I said, we're going to live stream in the car and I live in a small town. So that's a five to seven minute ride. It's very short and I'm gonna talk about whatever. A lot of days it's social media marketing. Um, some days it's real estate specific. Some days, one of my really popular ones lately, I talked about, uh, it was my turn to go get a colonoscopy. I said, I am over 50, so I'm getting the dreaded colonoscopy. I got so much engagement on that, and, so, and my whole angle with it was quit ignoring your health. You know, take this thing seriously, man. We can do this. We're not a bunch of cupcakes. Get out there and go get it done. Let's find something at stage negative zero and nip things in the bud. Um, and people responded so well to that, so much engagement and comments. And just yesterday, last night, I got an email from someone who works at our local hospital saying, we appreciate it so much. Would you consider coming and partnering with us in October for Breast Cancer Awareness? We would love to have you come do a tour of our breast center here and remind every woman to stop putting off your mammograms. 
And things like that are very rewarding. Just to feel like you're making a difference in your town. I love that. Driving really sort of all of you, especially your Facebook strategy, is sort of like paradigm shifting in the sense that, yeah, it's still a referral based business, but the way we stay in touch with the people we know, the way we generate referrals is so much, it's so much attached to am I leveraging Facebook? Am I really on social media? Am I being real and authentic and telling the story and letting other people tell theirs? And, right and you know, Tom is very much an advocate of some of the, the books and methods, also the Gary Vaynerchuk teaches, such as Jab, 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 Right Hook. And I've had the nice opportunity to spend time in a room with just a few people and Gary and attend some of his events. Yeah. And I love it. He will say, in reality, if there was room on the dust jacket of the book, the book would really be called Jab, 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 Right Hook. You know, in other words, give, 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 give. Do the right thing. Give to the community, and then whenever you stay top of their mind, you don't always have to be talking real estate. And if you want to know more about my exact Facebook strategy, which is about the commenting, the posting, the frequency, Tom Ferry on his YouTube has my video from the summit a couple of years ago, and I really walked through it step by step, so that's kind of a clip note for you. So Coach Tom Ferry on YouTube, that's what's there. Look up Tammy, Tammy Pack in his YouTube channel. You're going to find that video. She did the Tom X talk a couple years ago. Yes, and thanks to that, I also, because of that opportunity through coaching, was uh, hired by some the largest independent agent, uh, they call it, in uh, London, in the UK, to go speak on Facebook marketing uh, in March of this year as well. So that's another opportunity that came from coaching. That's amazing. Yeah. Three years ago, we didn't exist, okay? We had not closed a deal three years ago. So in the beginning, some of you guys are just starting out or you're revamping. Nothing better than social media, nothing cheaper than social media when you're starting to take a little and make it a lot. So if you've got one listing, Man, that's amazing. You take pictures over and over. You're putting up your new listing sign. You got your coming soon sign, whatever it is. You're in the house, you're doing some repairs. They don't know that it's the same listing. Right. They don't right. look that close. Right. Within our first few months, Wes and I laughed, and we had so many people come up just go, we had not posted anything yet. But we already had some listings going, and we were posting it. It was everywhere, everywhere you turn. And this said, y'all are killing it. We're like, yeah, we are. We are killing it. Get in line. <laughs> So take what you got. It's just a buyer. Every time you show property, you post something. If you go to the title company, you post something. If it falls through, don't post that. Uh, <laughs> you post it, you're starting over. You do what you got to do. And my daughter gave me some really good advice. We had a four or five million dollar listing in town, about, about four, and it went under contract really quickly. And I was like, well, that's amazing, but what if it falls through? She said, I don't care, you post it. She goes, if it falls through, is it because you did something wrong or is it things you can't help? And she's right, so we posted under contract in eight days. A little while later, it did fall through. Nothing to do with us, right? It was totally outside circumstances. Guess what? Nobody caught that. They didn't really pay attention. They'd seen that. They moved on to something else. Right. So take a little, make it a lot, and guess what? Then we got an almost six million dollar listing because they had only seen the progress set under contract. And they sent me another two and a half million dollar listing. And by the way, those are both in escrow. So get over yourself and get to work. I love it. Sarah. Where should someone start if they want to get to where you are? Where should they start now? Go all in. Whatever you're doing, go all in. I mean, I know I can say this because we were a little bit older and so we had some other sources of income coming in, but people would ask us like, what do you invest back in your community? What do you invest back in your marketing? And I said, up to all of it. I mean, literally, if you want to build from, I said, I said, you know, I'm 51 years old. We were 47, 48, we're starting this. I said, I don't want to be number one in 20 years, I need to be number one tomorrow. And we are number one in our entire MLS, by the way, and my husband, Westpac, is the number one agent, uh, agent in the MLS as well. So to do that, whether it's work, effort, if you're just leveraging your organic, if you don't have two pennies to rub together, then you work harder with your community. You go take things for your teachers. Go give back. You think those people don't appreciate it? We take breakfast to our teachers. We make goodie bags. We appreciate them. And man, those folks love us. And we love them. So do it for the right reason, knowing that the good's going to come from it. Okay? Because if you're out there for stinking motives and you're just always, they're always saying, you want to put out some cards? I was like, this is about you guys. This isn't about us. Okay? Word gets around when you do the right thing. It really does. Love it. That's awesome. Hey, can we give a huge round of applause these guys? And this is like a favorite Is. If anybody has questions, they can come up and talk to you guys, get ideas, inspiration, etc. One more time as they walk off, thank you guys, clap it up.